Here's what's popping in the world of young Hollywood. Yo, what's up, Pop Stop TV? Hey, I'm Emily Sandy, and you're watching Pop Stop TV. I'm Shishi Yang here, standing next to Emily Sunday. You look fabulous, girl. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations. What's it like to get the award for Breakthrough Artist of the Year? That's kind of huge. That's really, this is my first award in America. So this is a big deal for me. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think it's going to be a fun evening. Uh, looking forward to it. Absolutely. Did you see the recent episode of American Idol where they yes. sang two of your songs? I was saying watching it last night. I had no idea that was going to happen. Uh, that was ace. All right, girl. Now give us a scoop here. Who do you think did it better? Angie or Candace? Oh, oh man, that's hard to decide. <laughs> but um, I thought Candace, you know, her whole performance throughout the whole night was that voice. I mean, it just blew me away. Yeah, yeah so you were so happy watching it, right? It must have been such a surreal yeah, moment for you. It really was, you know, especially to be in a brand new country and to be watching TV and then hearing your songs. Um, it, was, it was a beautiful moment, really. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So who are some of the mentors that you're connecting with right now who gave you some words of wisdom when it comes to breaking into Hollywood? Uh, well, I'm lucky enough, you know, it's a great honor that uh, Elton John is likes my music. Uh, so he's given me some great advice about, you know, touring and just keep hustling and keep going. And uh, that was, that's been really cool. Girl, you know, we've been supporting you since day one. You're so amazing because you also write your own songs. And in addition to writing your own songs, you've also written for people like Fantasia, Rihanna. Yes. Who's someone that you'd love to work with and you haven't done so already? Who would I love to work I'd love to, I'd love to write with Bruno Mars. I think he's a fantastic writer and a great case of spirit. Um, I love Kanye West. He's brilliant. Um, there's lots of people. I'd love to work with some old, some people that really inspired me when I was younger, like Tracy Chapman or Lauren Hill. So there's lots of people on my wish list. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And you recently also performed with Jason Derulo on Dancing with the Stars. Yes. Right? Quite a scene. You nailed it. How was that? That was really cool. I mean, being on, on a show that's that big, you feel the energy the whole day. And meeting Jason was lovely. Um, so I've had a really good busy week here so far. <laughs> oh my goodness, you are working so much. Would you ever consider going on a show like Dancing with the Stars as a contestant? Would you want to dance? Um, I think I'd only embarrass myself. I can dance in the club, but if I'm choreographed, it's just not going to happen. <laughs> I love it, girl. And you're working on your sophomore album. Yes. What can you tell all the fans? Well, just that I'm excited to start, and so far I really feel like uh, I'm involved and I'm just so comfortable writing, so I'm looking forward to everyone hearing it. Love it. And in addition to taking over Hollywood, which I'm so convinced you're about to do, what are some of the things that you love to dabble into you haven't done so already? Um, things I love to dabble into. To, um, you know, movie, writing music for film and getting to be on the, the Gatsby soundtrack was a great kind of taster for that. Um, that's something and um, yeah, I think that's the one thing I'm really focusing on. And one last question real quick, speaking of the Gatsby soundtrack, did you get any feedback from Beyonce? I didn't, but I got to meet Jay-Z at the premiere and uh, that was that was a very cool moment. And um, here you go, it was like, keep going. And if Jay-Z says that, then I'm going to keep going. <laughs> Jay-Z is kind of powerful over here. Here and one step closer to Kanye. Yeah, exactly. For more celebrity interviews, log on to popstoptv.com. Pop culture for the next generation.